spot in Earth's gravity. Can we stop? I can't do anything. Good morning. Today our goal is to discuss gravity. And the first myth I want to spell is this. There is no gravitational attraction in space. This is false. Totally false. Many students think that there's no gravitational attraction in space because they see astronauts on the International Space Station and they hear terms like microgravity. But no, there's still a significant amount of gravity in space. And as you saw in this video, the gravitational attraction was strong enough to pull the Enterprise towards the Earth. So fundamentally, any object that has mass will exert a gravitational force on another object that has mass. So for an object like the Earth, which has a lot of mass, its force of gravitational attraction is large. So large that it can influence the motion of everyday objects, causing objects to fall, for example. However, even these two tiny objects also exert a gravitational force of attraction on each other. But their mass is tiny. And since their mass is tiny, the force they exert on each other is very small. So these two objects, even though they're exerting forces on each other, and they're exerting forces on us as well, we can't feel those forces because their mass is too small. Regardless of where you're standing on the Earth, the gravitational force always points towards the center of the Earth and is attractive. And so all of these objects will always experience a force that points towards the center of the Earth. Why do we feel the Earth's force of gravity? As I mentioned already, it's because the Earth is massive. Near the surface of the Earth, the force of gravity due to the Earth's mass on any object is given by the formula Fg equals mg, where m is the mass of the object. g is the acceleration due to the force of gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second per second. This is near the Earth's surface, of course. So this formula is only valid for objects near the Earth's surface. Calculate the force of gravity that this character experiences on the Earth. Well, we use our formula, force of gravity. Force of gravity, by the way, is also called weight. There's the mass with armor included. So substituting our values into the formula, the mass is 192 kilograms, the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. We end up with 1,882 newtons. By the way, in order to get a newton, mass always has to be in kilograms, and acceleration has to be in meters per second squared, or meters per second per second. In significant digits, 1900 newtons. So the Earth attracts the character with a force of 1900 newtons. Now, since the Moon's mass is significantly less than the Earth, it exerts a smaller force of gravity on the object. The acceleration of the object near the surface of the Moon, due to the Moon's gravitational force of attraction, is about one-sixth that of Earth. So it's not 9.8, it's only 1.63 meters per second squared. And so using the exact same formula, but accounting for the fact that this object is on the moon, not on the earth, instead of using 9.8, we use 1.63. As you can see, the force is significantly smaller, 310 newtons on the moon. And so what is the consequence of this? Well, if this character was staying on the earth, and weighed themselves, they would weigh 192 kilograms, but on the moon they would only weigh one-sixth of that, or 32 kilograms, because the force of gravity is significantly smaller on the moon, due to the moon's mass being significantly smaller than that of the Earth. Now if you're interested in more details about the force of gravity, and how it actually keeps objects in orbit, because ultimately why objects orbit is because of the force of gravity then you may want to check out this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.